Following a test ride on this Royal Enfield Continental GT 250 yesterday, I made the remark that I thought there might be something strange going on with the ignition and or electrics in that uh, when I was riding it, especially when it was in higher gears and under a bit of load, uh, there was a sort of feeling that something was snatching and grabbing at random, a little bit like um, if you imagine just sort of tapping on the back brake every now and again, just a little sort of jerk and uh, the snatching of what felt like the transmission. But um, I've come across this uh, thing before um, on a Triumph Tiger Cub and on another Royal Enfield 250, funnily enough, and only one or two other bikes, and I know what it is, and I'm hoping that I can prove it here. Um, I've already run it and strobed it, and I've seen that it is happening. Um, whether the camera will pick it up in a minute or not, I don't know. But basically, I've got the, uh, the strobe set up here, and I've got my timing lines that I put on the rotor. That one is top dead center. This one is the full advance firing line, and I've already run the engine and the timing itself is okay. Um, but as I suspected, every now and again, at random, these two lines will appear somewhere over here. And the strobe lights them up over there as well as here. Um, basically they light up here all the time, there's no misfiring. But occasionally, you'll get them there. And I worked it out um, another Another machine that did this sort of thing was our Royal Enfield 350 racer and it's what I term a rogue spark and it sort of happens pretty much at bottom dead centre and just before the compression stroke is starting and I think what it does, it's already pulled the mixture in ready to compress it so it's in there, the spark lights it early and then it sort of comes up as it either a dead charge or it's already fired and it tries to push the engine back the opposite way um, so I'm going to have to try and eliminate it but first of all I'm going to start it up and I'm going to try my best to see if we can pick it up with the camera and hopefully see the lines flashing over there I've deliberately set the tick over high um, so I can keep the engine running at a reasonable speed and um, yeah, just hopefully uh, catch it on camera and illustrate what is going on. So I'll put the camera down a moment while I start the engine. Just over here. And hopefully we'll be able to see what it is that's going on. I know what I'm dealing with. I've just got to try and stop it. Now, uh, interestingly enough, I'm just running 
points here um, have both been converted to 12 volts in the past from its usual 6. I'll check and make sure that the coil is compatible with that. Um, I've also come across this problem on my tri trials cab which has got a crude old 12 volt conversion on it, no battery um, and a Xena diode and that runs on points and the problem on that one goes away almost completely if I switch the lights on so it's got to be something to do with the electrics in fact I'll run this again and I'll just switch the lights on and see if there's any change that'll be a good idea gentlemen I give you the rogue spark now all I've got to try and do is get rid of it